Paul with uh, 12 voltview.com and today we're looking at another radio. This is actually a, this has got a lot more features than most radios I've, I've done so far. This is the Boss Audio BV9380NV. Uh, this is a, a 320 watt radio, which really means the 80 watts a channel. So it's got a little, a little extra power than normal radios. Uh, this radio averages around 449, 499. Uh, it's a doubled in screen with a built in navigation, DVD, CD, uh, RCAs, uh, touch screen, uh, remote, and everything. Uh, has a one year warranty. And it's got a. Uh, all kinds of the features. Let me get this out of the box. We'll see what's all all in it, and we'll get it mounted up. We'll see what the back of it looks like. We'll turn around, power it up, and we'll see what the what the front looks like. So let's get this thing out of the box. And, well, actually, I'll tell you what the about the box. It comes with a little handle, and a little fairly fairly decent little handle that way you don't have to you know lug it around or put it in a bag. You just just grab it and walk walk out with it. And. Uh, that's all that's on the box, except for the, you know, the, the visual decals. All right, let's get out of the box here. A couple of lids. First thing I'm gonna come across is looks like the manual. And uh, like it's on Facebook, little thing there. So they got the owner's manuals, kind of, kind of thin, you know, for being a navigation radio. I've seen some that you know they could put more in piece to, to its uh, competition. All right, nice big thick foam foam top. Yes, yeah, pretty good. Just keep it from uh, damage. I'll just put this off to the side. This, this will take a lot of space. Uh, the next thing to come to is actually the actual radio itself. Just, uh, put it down for a second. See what else is in here. It's just got a nice little wrapped up bag. Uh, it also comes with uh, looks like an iPod cable that plugs in the back. Um, so iPhone five or higher users. Yeah, it looks like you're out of, out of luck so far. So you have an iPhone 4S or older, I'm sure it'll work with this radio. Uh, looks like we got the wiring harness. Uh, good, good thing to have those. Here's the remote control. It even has, comes with a stylus pin. Apparently it's for the screen, not the, not the remote control. Um, there we go. Here's the navigation antenna or GPS antenna. The, uh, this screws in on the back of the radio. I'll show you that here shortly. And it mounts on the roof with a magnetic adhesive. And we got, uh, looks like two separate uh, trim rings for the front of the face. I think it's got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, ooh, goodies. Silica bag, don't eat these. <laughs> uh, we got CD keys. Yeah, two of those. I guess I'm gonna get you know if you're using the cage, it actually comes with these these radios, which is one of the few radios that have a cage to come with it. And there's still stuff in the box. This is in the box. Let's see what's in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, looks like we got the microphone antenna in a bag. And it looks like we got some you know, mounting screws and mounting brackets for other installations. And that's all that's in this box. And everything else in this box is just the rest of the styrofoam uh, on the bottom. Just like the, the top piece. Nice and thick. Keeps all of the shock. Actually, it's pretty spongy, so it probably take a lot of absorption of shock. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So we'll go ahead and get the thing mounted up on it and I'll show everything mounts on the back with all the cords. And we'll go from there. Oh. Okay people, um, I actually had to consult the manual on this because it has a lot of a lot of stuff going on back here. Uh, I guess we'll start from the top left corner. This little bracket actually holds a whole mess of wires and stuff. Uh, one of these wires is the USB that, that's uh, for... Uh, now your thumb drives and stuff. Uh, you also have what's called the Bluetooth mic port, or the uh, where you plug the microphone into. It's a little gray, gray plug in. Uh, this right here, you got your front RCA outputs. Uh, keep it off the screen there. You have front RCAs on the cord, uh, and then you got three wires. Uh, the 
These wires are for your steering wheel controls. So if, you, if your vehicle has steering wheel controls, these are the three wires you would tap into. And you probably need to purchase a special steering wheel control module to, to work with this radio. Uh, if I pull these to the side, uh, the plug in right here, this is where the, uh, the iPod cable plugs into. Plugs in right here. I can get the heating seat because the, these wires are in the way. And the data of the wires go directly in front of the power cord plug in and this plug in. So you may take a little bit to see where you're plugging everything into. So you got the, so your USB cord plugs into that. And then you'll have your microphone plugged in the gray port, like so. Oh my God, sorry, both my hands are in the way. So this is your Bluetooth mic, that little little sticky pad, so you can peel it off and stick it somewhere. But make sure that wherever you stick it, you wipe it down with a good alcohol pad, so you know this have a chance to stick. All right, and you guys, this is your plug-in for the power cord. You got your fuse. This little red doohickey right here is actually just a cover. You pull it off. And you get to the, uh, the GPS antenna. All you gotta do is just line up. Make sure you don't bend that center pin, or you'll never you have to get a whole new antenna. Take it in, and it screws on like that. Then uh, this right here is a magnetic in, uh, in antenna, so you can mount it and make, make sure when it's mounted, it's it's face up where the sky can see it as good as possible. The more satellites up there they can see this antenna, the better uh, location you'll find yourself on the screen. It takes at least a minimum of three whole good satellites to get you a basic signal. The more the more the merrier. Anyway, that's, that's that part of the radio. I'll move to the other side of all of this right here. Um, this is the video one output, this yellow here. This is your rear outputs. This is the video 2 output. This one in the center is a rear view, view camera input. Plugs right there in the center. This is your subwoofer output. So you have subwoofers. So you can have you know, your high amp and culmination with your front RCA's, rear RCA's and subwoofer. Uh, this is your video input. So if you have a DVD player, Xbox, something somewhere else, these are your inputs for those. That's your video and your auxiliary left and right uh, inputs. So these are inputs for video and audio. And if you're not sure what this is, I'll go ahead and tell you anyway. This is the FM antenna input. So you can plug your antenna into here. Now your car or truck may require adapters, special, special harnesses and antenna adapters. Make it, please purchase the correct one. If you don't, you, you may end up having errors and problems and you may have to end up having your, your uh, errors you know, cleared out at the, at the at the dealer, which ain't fun. Anyway, that's everything that's on the back of it. Um, not near as complicated as when I first saw it, after I finally figured out where everything was. Um, and we'll get this thing turned around, power it up, and we'll see what the front of it looks like. Oh, and before I do that, as you notice, your GP antenna also hangs in front of your power plug. So you may have to kind of move it off to the side and make sure you retighten the, the plug if you can. But, uh, but also being off to the side, it makes your, your cord deals. I mean, you might want to plug this in after you plug your cord in. Your, your power, power harness.
All right, we got it plugged in. Um, when you first plug it in, you usually ready to just come on and, and start blinking and stuff, but you actually have to turn the power on on this one. Um, has nice little blue lights, the Boss Audio Systems. Uh, I hear the fan come on for a few seconds. There's a little fan built on the side of the unit. And this one actually has a pretty nice display. It looks like it's raining on the inside of the radio. It's all wet and drippy and stuff. Uh, it's got a lot of features. I, I, this, this video may take a little while, so I'm gonna try. I don't. I don't want to rush to it, but I don't want to take forever talking about it because been, my voice just might lock up, and I'll just sit there and stare at it for a while. Anyway, uh, we'll talk about the features on the outside first before we jump in and look at everything. Uh, we got the mute button. When you click it, it'll say EQ off 20, and a, apparently a speaker with a big slice through it. We'll take the mute off. Got your CD player. It's kind of it like it's highlighted with some little, you know, little lights there. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Got your eject button. Uh, nothing down here, but you know, it's got your Bluetooth, RDS, touchscreen, 80 watt channel, just your your basic information you find on every radio. Uh, down here is another aux input on the front, so you can you know plug some stuff in the front. Um, Get into it. I don't have fingernails. There we go. And this one also has a front USB as well as a back or rear USB. So it's got two USBs. That's pretty tight. Actually, it fits nice and snug in there. Okay. Uh, got your volume knob, which if you push in, it shows you clock and back. It looks like there's a little error over here. Click on it. Uh, it takes you to the main menu screen, navigation, radio, disc, Bluetooth, AV input, media, like iPod stuff, USB, SD card. We'll, we'll get that here in a few minutes. That just takes you back to the clock. Here's a little icon up here, which I'll, I'll click on here in just a few minutes. Uh, this right here is your map SD card. All your information is for that navigation stored on here. Um, just like the USB, I'll probably never get into it. Yeah, it has, it's, micro, it's micro USD, it actually has an extra port for either more map stuff. And then the navigation button, you can press it, it switches over to navigation. It does seem to run a little slow on responsiveness. Uh, yeah, there it goes. I go Primo 2.0. Got a little progress bar going across here. Looks like a little cityscape being, you know, shelled by many rights. Looks like computerized apparently. I don't think it's real. Oh come on! I could probably have driven there by now. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got buttons here. We got show map, find, my route, more. Uh, let's go to show map. That highlights. That's cool. There right, we go. Looking for a GPS signal. Unfortunately, since we're inside, I don't think it's going to find any GPS signal. Even, even though I got the GPS demo plugged in the back of it right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on demo. Let's see, let's click on something. Okay, yeah, it tells you uh, satellite strength. If you have more satellites, the more stuff all the way across and kind of tells you about which way the satellites are you're catching I guess. So for satellite strength we have has it's like it has one little dot so apparently we don't have enough. Alright we'll go back. Uh, we'll press this little circle thing here. What does it do? Alright we got a quick search, place, favorites, map settings, quick route, route settings, GPS info, I think that's the satellite button I was just to do and Back to that. Okay. Um, simulate navigation, cancel route, and it looks like we got. Uh, let's see here. We'll go to quick search. You start typing this stuff like the end of the name of place. Uh, let's say we'll say uh, Cafe Du Bon in New Orleans. Let's see if they actually have that in here. C A F E. Where's the space? 
space by area of space. Do, in case you don't spell it, mold. M O N D. Um, there's more. I have no idea what all this means. A B C. Can't make any mold. Results, nothing apparently. Uh, apparently, apparently couldn't find it because I'm, you know, probably needed the navigation antenna hooked up or get, re receive a signal. Create a route. Oh, apparently, there's, a, there's only a delay, you know, it actually must go off to the side when I use the create a route. Cannot find any road near your location because I don't know the antenna's not plugged in. Setting a start point will disable the GPS receiver. I have, I'll just, I'll do that because. Anyway, we'll go to demo. I played around with this earlier, and you can actually select preset settings of starting and ending locations. So let's say if we want to go to the Las Vegas MGM Grand and this, it's calculating the route. Of course, I don't have any speakers, but there's a lady that talks to you. Uh, start you off, tells you the distance. As you're going, how many minutes you have left, or hours, or days. Arrival time, 11.57. The about average, it can't calculate traffic time or anything like that, but it, it does the best it can. Tells you when to turn. Has, you know, street signs up at the top. The speed limit on this particular road. And it's telling you apparently to get off on West Tropicana Avenue, where that's at. And you get your little wavy uh, finish line flag in the back. So that's pretty cool. I, I've, I've actually heard heard her talking. Tells you when, when to turn, how long to take to turn, and then they get your road to destination and stuff. Um, let's see. Go back. Back. Menu. It actually does some more stuff. Find. You can actually find an address. Um, oh, there we go. Country, select like country or state. So we'll just say we'll say Louisiana. United States, Louisiana, not Canada or Newfoundland or the Brader, whatever that's it. City. Uh, we'll say New Orleans. See, right there, I pressed in and it popped up. There it is. Yes. Okay. Street name, I have, I uh, almost said Bourbon Street. There is a delay on pressing stuff, apparently. Come on. Either I've locked it up or it's thinking. Okay, uh, well, apparently, I've either locked it up or something. I'm not quite sure what's happening here. There's no progress icon on the screen saying it's thinking or doing something. I'll just press it. Oh, there we go. I didn't. I was fixing to press something, but it didn't. That popped up. So apparently, because I guess New Orleans is such a huge city, it had to load all that information right into, into the radio. Alright, street name. Burr. Bourbon, Bourbon Street, ding. Select Street. I don't know any house numbers or anything. Let's see if it finds it. Bourbon Street, there we are. Um, information, I guess this is what I asked for. Uh, that particular location tells you longitude, latitude, and your uh, about uh, actual address of where the cursor's at. Uh, back, more. Show position at places around the cursor. You click on it, and around your location, it tells you different places you can go. Like around where I was, the House of Voodoo, Maria Laveau's House of Voodoo. We got Johnny White's Pub and Grill. I bet that sounds good. It is lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. Bon Maison, K 
guest house, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, Bourjon guest house. I'm guessing all these Cajun names, they, they spell one way and pronounce the other. Uh, you got Voodoo Blues, you got Brilliant, Embers, I've heard of Embers. Bourbon Street, oh yeah, there's a Bourbon Street on Bourbon Street. And all kinds of stuff, ballrooms, hotels, all, all within 300 feet or so of your current location. Apparently when I started the Mary LeVoe's House of Voodoo is 100 feet away from that where the cursor was, which is right there. So if you want to go anywhere, you can just click on the More button, places around the cursor, and just in case you want to find something new that you haven't been to, or try to find some place that you can't find. Alright, then we got Go, which is uh, waiting for GPS signal. There is none because I'm inside. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's actually a lot of features in the navigation part of it that you can play around with. All the points of interest, setting your thing for home, and setting your route, and, uh, adjusting all kinds of other settings. Just settings and settings. Uh, more. You know, you got your settings. Updates and extras. You can probably go to the Boss Audio website and you can actually download updates. Actually, it's uh, NaviExtras.com, apparently, not Boss. So you can get up to date um, information on your maps, uh, music player, searcher for media. I have none. Hit cancel. Picture viewer. You actually put, apparently, put, you can put pictures on your. USB card, I don't have any. Uh, calculator. So yes, there, there's a calculator on this on the radio. You can actually figure up something. <coughs> Excuse me. Fuel consumption. You can set it up. You know, different things here. Last odometer, how much gas, gas prices. You can actually figure out you know what percentage of gas you're paying per mile. On, on trips, sunrise and sunset. Uh, let's see. I guess right now it's with the time being said, this little thing will adjust back and forth. Uh, yeah, this time's not set on here, so I don't do the trip monitor. Uh, you can actually re record your trip. So you can go back and see where you went, could have done something better or something. On the next screen over, looks like we got a unit converter. Uh, got lane temperature, speed, fuel economy, power, mass, area, volume, pressure. All that in the radio. This is a radio. This isn't a, a science lab. Country information. Uh, you can select on different countries. Uh, we'll say Egypt. And they got in cities, like I guess, I don't know what those numbers mean. Area code is 20, emergency phone, like ours is 911, there is 122. Alright, we'll go back. Uh, clothing, let's see what clothing is here. Uh, first thing it has off is bra band sizes. So if you're not looking for bras, you have to go down several things. Let's see. Shoes for women, dresses for women. Everybody has shoes for men, click on that. Shoe size, uh, UK, I think mine's like 10 and a half. Or, oops. Shoes for me, and I'll just say mine's 10 and a half USA, which is actually 10 UK. Oh, that's just like a, a chart. So if you go to different places, you can say, well, I'm 10 and a half here, but in Europe, it's actually a size 44. Or in Japan, I'm a 20 and a half. So anyway, they got, you know, apparently that type of stuff. Help. Demo about things about the radio, the demo and stuff. Um, that's pretty much it for those stuff. Uh, settings. I'm still in the navigation menu. Sounds, warning, custom quick menu, driving time management, traffic, route settings, profiles, map settings, visual guide settings, display trip monitor logs. Start configuration wizard, or just reset everything to default because you just screwed it up with all those extra settings you played around with. Oh. 
I know I would. I probably did that reset button several times. All right, that's it for navigation. We're gonna go, go into the. Um, here's this radio here. This it's got the. Let's see, you get your presets. One, two, three, four, five, six. All you do is click it, and it'll change. And it's got a. Got your, your digital here, and also has your analog. That you can like scroll back and forth, which is pretty neat. I'm still digging the, the raining on there. <laughs> All right, down here we have a whole coast of icons. Uh, the first one is I click on it. Uh, <coughs> apparently, this section is the beginning. A U M one, I see. A M one. Here we go. F M one, F M two, F M three, A M one, A M two. Back to F one. This is your band button. This little circle with the looks like a push pin is your band button. Search. Uh, apparently, it's searching through your preset, I suppose. Uh, this here looks like a brake pedal. You can actually dial in your frequency. Ninety three. Point one inner inner uh, inner. There we go. Apparently, you gotta add that fourth number in here. Uh, this here looks like it's going to be your fader and balance. You just center the you know the crosshairs wherever you want the center of the of your sound to be. If you're the only driver, you can probably center it to where you're the center of the how the of the car. That way you can get perfect sound. You know, uh, surround sound. Uh, this here just resets it all back to zero. Uh, beep on. Okay, so beeps on and off. Apparently, when you click on it, it beeps in your speakers. Loud, on, so you actually you know, real pump up the volume, pump up the volume, pump, 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 pump. GPS mix on. Not quite sure what that means. Might have to check the menu out. EQ, you got metal, pop, rock, metal. EQ off, pop, uh, rock, metal. Subwoofer, you can check the frequency of the. You have to keep, apparently you have to keep pressing to find out what frequency you want. Usually it's just start off at 80 and go from there. Uh, let's see, it's off with that. We'll back up. This right here, look ear. It looks like it's hearing something. Can't tell what's going on. Okay. This just turned. What happened? Okay, so it scrolls back and forth. I actually didn't know that. Did that. Anyway, this just turns the loud off and on. By, on, by clicking on the ear down here. Uh, this right here gives you a spectrum analyzer. Just something to dance and play while you're driving and looking at the rainy weather while it's sunny outside. I still think that's awesome. Alright. Uh, okay, let's we'll scroll down to the next set. Uh, headphones. Okay, you know, it just goes from, change, changes this from stereo to mono, that's, that's all the headphones do. Now we got a little curved arrow with a, looks like an XM symbol, but it's not XM. It's a stereo lock. I guess I guess stay on this station. PTY, apparently it's just information, current affairs, if your radio station has that. Uh, TAAF, that's just, that's just all radio functions, okay. All right, let's go to this, go to the clock. <coughs> All right, we did know you said radio, disc. You got Bluetooth for talking. You can dial the phone number and answer it. Uh, you can, looks pretty cool. Uh, for audio, Bluetooth audio, you got this, what this is. All right, go out, I don't have a phone to it. 
phone book, it'll, it'll list your phone numbers and stuff. You can click on those, make phone calls. Uh, what that means. I mean, it's phone calls in and out, I guess. All right, here's the clock again. All, all video, audio, video input, media, USB, SD card, calculator, wallpaper settings. Wallpaper, you can change different stuff. You can have stuff flying around. You can have uh, pictures in the background. You can have leaves. Uh, like, like a curtain. You can have grass. Um, these are just backgrounds you can stick in there. Um, pretty neat there. Or you just have uh, black lines. Or, from what I'm seeing here, you can apparently upload your own. So you can take a picture of your friend or boyfriend and stick, 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 him, the, stick him or her on there. Alright. Okay, so that's a dimmer. That's what that is. Alright, so... Custom. This is another menu screen. You got your uh, different clock with little things swirling around. You got your different icons. They're still the same icons. They're just uh, with different new little pictures, which is pretty neat. So you got GPS, radio, DVD, Bluetooth, you know, it's all actually pretty cool. And if you click on the clock, what happens? And dimmer. Alright, well I think I may have covered about 80% of all the features without going to every single one. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the length of on this video down. But I hit all the major stuff as far as I know. It's a touch screen. Uh, there's a, a slight delay, especially I think when the navigation is turned on. There's a slight delay on uh, actually getting to it. Navigation. Show map. Let's see. Casino. Actually, it's not too bad. I guess once once it's turned on and you start using stuff, then uh, it may might speed up a bit. I guess when you first turn it on, it's still loading things into memory. But uh, it's actually a really nice radio. I mean, it's, it's a, from what I see, it's one of the first navigation radios for you know four forty nine four ninety nine. It seems to have a ton of features. It's too bad my truck won't. Is able to fit the, fits newer vehicles and stuff, but my truck is a 98 model. <laughs> but, uh, let's get this thing put back in the box. And, oh, I forgot to talk about this. These two trim rings, they come with it. I showed earlier. They only snap just on the front, so they don't, they don't cover all this. They just change the gap from here to here to a little smaller or bigger. That's, that's just about it. That's about all the trim rings do. And they barely snap into place. They're, they're tight. Alright everybody, got it back in the box here thing. This is the, the Boss BB9380NV. This is one of their first navigation radios. Doubled in. Uh, average around 449, 499. It's got 320 watts of channel, which is 120 watts more than normal radios. It average around 80 watts of channel for power output. Uh, it's got navigation, DVD, CD, Bluetooth, calculator, touchscreen, uh, multiple background pictures, you can put your own picture in there, uh, it's mostly touch screen. When you first turn it on, there's a little bit of lag between touching something and actually popping up, but once it gets going and warmed up, it, it starts zooming through everything pretty quick. And for for the, you know, the price of the radio, the brand is actually a really nice radio. Um, they, I mean, there are probably you know, a couple of things they can probably do, but they do have free, or mostly free, uh, navigation update that you can go download from NaviExtras.com. But uh, anyway, this is uh, Paul with 12 overview.com. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a great day and please subscribe.